Hello, and welcome to SuperStockScreener.com. In today's video, I will show you how to download the data that we share with you on our website. Please note that to get this working, you need to be logged into your account as a subscriber. So to start with, you can click the Get Ratings button to have access to the ratings associated with the tickers we show you by default, Apple, Microsoft, and Sirius. Once you click the button, you land on the page where you can see the ratings for those stocks. Please note the Download to Spreadsheet button available at the bottom of the page. Once you click it, it will create a CSV file for you. This file contains the same data as what you see on your screen now. Please note I'm using the Chrome browser to do this demonstration. If you use another browser, the way the files are downloaded and the way you can open them will be different than what you see in this video. Now, I click the button, it creates the file, and I will open it in order to have access to the downloaded data. The format of the file is companies, underscore, followed by today's date. And now, if I click here, it opens the file in Microsoft Excel in my case. I will expand all the columns and you can see that we have in the file the same three stocks as on the previous screen, Apple, Microsoft, and Sirius along with all the other information that was shared with you on that screen, i.e. all the financial metrics available for these companies. Now, let's get back to the site and let's say we want to check the stocks that we have on my favorite stock list. I click on My Account, and here it displays my favorite stock list. If I go at the bottom of the page, you will notice the same Download to Spreadsheet button. I click it again. It creates a new file, and I open it. We can see that all the stocks that were on my favorite stock list have been downloaded into this CSV file. You can save it for further analysis or reuse as you wish. This is not it. You can also download data on our website from some other pages. For instance, let's see how to download our strong buy list. We have a lot of strong buy stocks every month. By default, we are showing you the first 10 in alphabetical order. Once again, at the bottom of the page, we have the Download to Spreadsheet button. If you click it, that will create a new file which contains all the stocks that were included in the Strong Buy list this month. That's 1,225 stocks. Once again, you can see that the file contains all the data that we share with you on the page where you click on the Download button. By default, it includes all the financial metrics that are available on our site. The same thing also works when working from the screener. Let's go on the stock screener page, and let's say we want to see which stocks are rated as strong buy this month and were rated as strong sell last month. We click on Get Results to generate that list, and we can see how many stocks the screener returns. We have 23 stocks on that list this month. Once again, if you go at the bottom of the page, you will find this Download to Spreadsheet button. I click it, it creates the CSV file, but this time you will notice that we do not have as much information in this file as we had before. This is because when you click the Download to Spreadsheet button, it creates a file that contains the exact information you had on your screen when you clicked on the button. In the case of the screener, I had not requested all the possible data for those stocks. I just used the default criteria that were price, market cap, dividend yield, and price to earnings. But we can add more. Let's say you are interested in price to cash flow, price to book, and price to sales. You generate the results again by clicking on Get Results. As you see, the table is now larger, including the new metrics that we have screened for. Then we go at the bottom of the page, we download the information to the spreadsheet, we open it, and now our file contains the price to cash flow, price to book, and price to sales information that we have added to our screen. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click the like button below. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to it so that you will be notified next time we upload a new video.